Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, Ju Justice Khayyut, Justice Saiz, dear Professor Goshen, my colleague justices, and distinguished guests. In the past few years, we have seen the investors' liquidity has been increasing, along with an enlarged diversity of investment alternatives. In this session, I would like to discuss some of these creative instruments used in order to raise capital from the public. As we will shortly discuss the definition of securities, which are regulated by the Israeli Securities Authority, the ISA, is a bit elusive, having two effects I wish to focus on today. Firstly, there is some uncertainty regarding which investments are to be supervised. And secondly, there are plenty of ways to avoid the radar of the regulator and the legal obligation applied to regulated, regulated investigation of publication of prospectus, ending up in raising money and selling sophisticated investments alternatives without the ISA supervision and the financial burden that comes along with. In the past few years, there has been a significant increase in the criminal cases dealing with this issue. This phenomenon raises questions regarding the current and the desirable supervision required by the ISA and the judicial system. Due to the, reason, to the recent exposure of frauds, loss of investments, and the increasing number of criminal cases, there might be a need for an enhanced supervision of the ISA. I should point out that usually courts are reactive, meaning we respond to a certain misconduct rather than prevent it. As Supreme Court Judge Rubinstein stated in Kedem case, which I will discuss later on, in few legal economics, and this a quote, in few legal economics fields we are often in a cat chase between authorities and sophisticated players in the market. The latter are looking to find gaps while the authorities are trying to prevent it, and as a result, causing public complaints regarding over-regulations. A short background. Let's have a quick overview on the Israeli economic and markets. The total national savings in 2016, approximately 140 billion shekels, including private, public, and business savings. The total capital offerings of shares, bonds, and options in the Israeli stock market in 2017 was about 86 billion shekels. That is, these are numbers from the director annual report of the ISA for 2017. In addition, while in the US, the Federal Reserve had, has recently raised the interest, uh, the interest rate, as of today, the Israeli interest rate has not changed in the last three years. The Israeli central bank interest is around 0% causing some of traditional investments alternatives, which are based on interest rate, to be less attractive. As a result, the supply of money is relatively high, making it good incentive, a fertile ground for entrepreneurs who are looking to raise capital easily and cheaply. The Israeli definition of securities, how are securities defined on the Israeli law, securities law, as you can see, the definition in Israel laws includes four main components. The first, certificates, second, issued in series, third, conferring a right of membership or participation in them or claim against them, and the fourth, the last one, certificates conferring a right to acquire securities. There are several criticisms regarding the legal definition, the, Israel, the current Israeli one. The first one, on one hand, it is very broad definition. It is popular argument that a bus pass or sub subscription of orchestra, supermarket coupons, all match this de de definition. However, it is clear that the securities law was not intended to include these kinds of cases. On the other hand, this definition does not apply to financial instruments which were cre creatively engineered In Kedem case versus ISA, on which I'll elaborate later, the Supreme Court Judge Solberg 
approached this matter and stated the definition of security is now defined in Israeli law needs to be amended. In the meantime, I lean until an amendment, if any, will be made to this de definition, courts interpret the current def definition to adjust it to the variable cases brought in front of them using the purpose of law. What is the purpose of laws of security as it known up to date in Israel? In Kedem case, the Supreme Court root, ruled, and I'm quoting now, the purpose of securities law is to protect investors while recognizing that there are significant, significant powers gaps between corporations issuing the securities and public investors. In a dark case in which I, it was added that securities law aimed to protect the economic interest of those investing in passive economic investments in order to make profits. To conclude, this is the current legal settings courts have in order to examine whether the securities regulation apply to a new type of investments. Concerning the American law, before we continue, I remind that the American law, unlike the Israeli law, the definition of security contains a specification of various financial instruments deemed as securities, but still allows some flexibility. Both the Securities Act of 1933 and Securities Exchange Act of 1934 define the term security, including the catch-all term investment contract. The phrase investment contract is not defined in either statute. The United States Supreme Court provides a flexible test of determining whether a particular transaction qualifies as an investment contract according to the Howey case, which was ruled in the United States Supreme Court back in 1946, an investment contract for purposes of Securities Act, a contract, transaction, or scheme where a person first invests his money, second, in the common enterprise, third, and led to expect profits, and fourth, solely from the efforts of the promoter or third party. The interpretation allows the U.S. courts to identify and include various financial instruments, including the creative ones, under the, regula the regulation of SEC. Now I come to the Adar case, about the case brought before me, which dealt with the interpretation of a certain type of investment, and specifically, whether it should be considered a regulated security, we'll briefly go over the facts. Adar is an Israeli company which offers Israeli investors to invest in life, in, insu life insurance policies in the United States, not in Israel. Adar searched for profitable life policies issued in the U.S. and negotiated with policy owners and purchase fee. Then the company searched Israeli investors mainly through online marketing. For each purchase, purchase policy, a designated LLC was incorporated by Adar. Each LLC was a legal entity purchasing the policy and thus obliged to pay monthly premium to the insurer according to the policy conditions. The LLC were also entitled to, to the death benefits once the original policy owners die. Each policy was divided into units, allowing investors to hold only a portion of it and to invest in numerous policies at the same time. Each investor pays his portion in purchase fee and in a monthly premium. In return, each investor is entitled to portion in death benefits. Another important fact is that Adar undertook the, to pay premiums instead of the investors if needed in order to prevent the loss of rights in the policy. Adar's role in the process is to manage the investment and to make sure all payments are transferred to the insurer at the end. After raising an amount of millions of dollars in Israel in premium payments and purchase fees, in November 2017, the ISA required Adar to stop its activity on the grounds of legal violation of the Israeli securities law. According to the ISA, Adar offered and sell and sold securities with no prospectus and full disclosure. The case was brought before me, petition filed by Adar against the ISA decision. 
according to ADAR, investments in life insurance policies are not to be considered as securities. Therefore, the decision essentially dealt with the question whether the specific type of investment should be regulated under the securities law or not. In order to answer that, the definition of securities in Israeli law and the purpose of securities law were both examined. The definition of the securities law, after an examination, it was stated that the insurance investment agreement meets the law, the law required to be considered securities. As I mentioned in the introduction, the Israeli definition contains four components, while three of them are relevant to us. The purpose of securities law. Adar are the entrepreneurs, the initiators of the investment activity. The purpose of the financial instrument was to gain yield for investors. The risk and the uncertainty in this type of investment intensified due to the long duration of the investment. That means until the death of the insured person. The geographical distance since the insurance is located in the United States and lack for, uh, of an Israel regulator supervising the activity. Based on past presidents of the Supreme Court of Israel, I have set a list of consideration to be taken into account in order to determine whether a certain financial instrument should be defined as security. Are there information gaps between the issuer and the investigating and investing party? The degree of the issuer involvement in the activity? Is there any alternative regulation applying to the relevant activity? Transferability of the rights and existence of secondary market? And I focused on effectiveness in imposing disclosure and supervision duties on the issuers. Keeping in mind that the purpose of the law is to protect protecting the economic interest of those investing in passive economic investments in order to make profits. In addition, taking into account the severe financial impact ADAR will bear if its activity will be indeed be regulated. So, how were these considerations implemented in ADAR case? First, it was clear that investors intended to make a passive investment in order to make profits. Second, ADAR was more than a mediator. She had a, an active role in locating and selecting the policies, assessing the life expectancy of the policyholders and negotiating the phrase, the purchase fees. In addition, in case of payment were not provided, Adar paid the difference. As a result, there was a severe information gaps justifying full disclosure to investors in order to make an informal investment decision. For instance, the life expectancy of the original policyholder, the valuation of the purchase fee, information about the LLC, and the activity in the US. Moreover, the activity involves risks, for example, financial stability of ADAR, the life expectancy estimation of the insured person, which would be disclosed to investors, again, in order for them to assess whether the investment suits them or not. Other than that, in type of investment, there is a need for ongoing reporting. For example, whether the premium payments are fully paid to the insurer and reassessment of the life expectancy estimation of the insurer. Another important factor was the lack of adequate alternative regulation. A dark security was not supervised or regulated by any authority in Israel. Taking into consideration all of these facts, I concluded that this investment agreement are in fact an investment in securities according to the law and therefore the provision of securities law applied. I've accepted the ISA position and the, uh, the other petition was denied. As you can see, this case is a typical example for a complex interpretation that the court had to make in order to determine whether a certain financial instruments should be considered under the securities law regulatory. Similar cases in the US. As our American audience may know, there were few similar cases in the US discussing the dis the classification of investment in life insurance as a security. Review of the court decision in this matter reveals that there is an uniform decision 
and each case is determined according to its circumstances. The different circumstances in each case, especially the different levels of involvement of the issuer and specific mechanism of investment, all led to different conclusions by courts. While in mutual benefits case in 2005 and in Torchia case 2016, the United, the United States Courts of Appeal concluded that investments in life insurance are investment contract within the meaning of the Securities of Act of 1933 and 1934. In the Life Partners case in 1996, court had come to an opposite conclusion. In addition, the circumstances of the U.S. cases are both substantially different from Adar, making it impossible to deduct from the U.S. court decision to Adar's case. Now I'll come to Kedem case. I'll talk about another Israeli case brought before the Israeli Supreme Court in 2015, Kedem case. This case deals with Tama 38 investments. For the non-Israeli who are not familiar with this term, Tama 38 is a regulatory real estate plan whose goal is to prevent earthquake damages by renovating old buildings. Tama 38 gives real estate entrepreneurs an incentive to renovate old buildings by getting in return additional building rights. I'll shortly go over the facts. Kedem Group initiates Tama 38 projects in order to finance these projects, decided to raise debt from the public. The financing out outline proposed by Kedem included five alternatives of investors. In each option, investors were asked to provide a loan and had an option to choose their return rate. And the purpose of these investments, the company generally activity of specific project. Yes, we see it. The difference in the interest rates among each option are due to existence of individual negotiations and the value of the collaterals. In addition, Kedem undertook not to borrow money for more than 35 investors in each plan. This detail or this fact is important since the Israeli securities law exempts its application if securities are offered to loss to, or sold to, loss than, to, to less than 35 investors. We will call it the 35 exemption. Kedem Group approached the ISA for pre-ruling regarding the question whether these financial instruments are a security. The ISA ruling was KEDEM activity applies for an, as offering of securities and therefore require prospectus. I'll gap over the, the district court decision. I'll go straight to the Supreme Court decision. At the center of the Supreme Court judgment was the question whether the loan agreement are certificates issued in series or separate agreements which required an interpretation of the term series in a definition of securities. The Supreme Court stated that each of five loan agreements shall be considered a separate series. Therefore, we have five different series. At this stage, the Supreme Court stated that even though there are five different series, they all should be counted together for the purpose of the 35 exemption the Supreme Court based its decision on the language of the Israeli securities law. As you can see, this case is another good example for complex of interpretation that the Supreme Court had to make in order to determine whether a certain financial instrument should be considered under the securities law regulatory. It should be noticed, while in Adar question, while in Adar the question raised regarding the purpose of financial instruments in Kedem, the question raised regarding the number of investors involved in a current investment. The conclusion of these cases presented is that questions regarding the interpretation of the law are still arising. The application of the Israeli securities law is still undergoing and unclear, especially we're dealing with creative investments trying to challenge the current vague definition in the Israeli law. As I mentioned when we started, the sophisticated and creative players in the Israeli market are looking almost every day for opportunities to raise capital from the public by offering attractive returns along with strong collaterals. In some cases, we see that the low vague definition assists those who act, intentionally or not, under the ISA's radar, at least in the early stages of the activity. The lack of supervision might lead 
to loss of investments caused by unprofessional investment management and in sometimes even caused by intentional fraud. In order to protect the investors, we can see Israeli courts interpreting the current law in broader manner, allowing broader application for the securities law. At the same time, the ISA is trying to enhance its supervision in order, in order to detect this kind of cases as early as possible. Meanwhile, in order to support the legal and regulatory system, and in order to increase the, certain, the certainty in capital market, an amendment of the current definition is required. Thank you very much. Thank you.